I'm Batman. But not really. But I do have a Batman haul. So let's get into it. It's geeking time. Hi guys. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today, um... Today I got a haul. I like doing hauls for you guys. I don't really do themed hauls all that much, but sometimes, sometimes when I buy a lot of stuff of the same thing, well then, it becomes a themed haul. So I do have a themed haul today. As you may have clicked onto the video and see it, this is a Batman haul of justice. Yes, exactly. Um, a bunch of stuff that I've accumulated. Some, uh, a few things that I got as an early birthday present, and just other stuff that I've bought for myself. Um, so yeah, got it myself. I put, I put them all in a little bag here, so I can just pull everything out and show you guys. So uh, it ranges from like books and 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 a clothes and a T-shirt and then like, video games, figures, a whole bunch of really good stuff. So all this stuff is in the bag right here. I figure I'll just put it down on the on the ground and we can uh, just go from there. I don't know exactly what to do, but it's all here. Let's just get really get into this haul. Boomers haul, yeah. So the first thing I want to show off in this haul back down, is this really cool um, t-shirt I've had for a while, I just have never shown it off. This is from the DC uh, collection by Jim Lee. It's a nice white t-shirt and you got Batman front and center there. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, but I believe this is from, I'm not sure if it's from the Button comic or it was just a random panel that they chose, but really cool. You got Batman front and center, so I figured I'd show it off to you guys. I mean, it is a Batman t-shirt, so why not? Okay, that's, that's the only t-shirt I have to show you. Hey guys, just a quick edit. I forgot to show this off when I was actually filming the video. I picked up some Batman glasses as well. These I got from uh, Dollarama, I think. They were like four bucks for the for the two packs. It's kind of cool. Um, Batman on one side, Joker on the other. I drink from them often. And this one here just has Batman on it. It's kind of cool. Glassware mugs and uh, yeah. Just wanted to show you that, uh, show you guys that quickly. From the pages of the mighty Batman comics. Batman. Power guardian Batman. A blast from Batman's past. Cyborg Batman. Is he man or machine? Future Batman rules the sky on wings of steel. Legends of Batman figures he sold separately. You know what? I'm just going to pull a chunk out here so it will go one by one. You can see that first thing there. Okay. There we go. So the first thing I got... So the next thing I got is a... Um, Art with Edge, Crayola, 30-page Batman coloring book. These are individual pages that you can take out and color. This is a breakdown of all the pages here on the back. Um, I can show you some of the pages. That's, that's not a problem at all. Just bear with me. Okay. So I'm going to step away from the camera just for two seconds. So there's. So these are kind of basically what the stuff you're getting inside of this coloring book. Like I said, all individual pages. And that's some Harley right there. There's Robin, looks to be the Damian Wayne version of Robin. I don't want to show everything, it's going to take too long to show everything. Hey, there's Batman and Catwoman, that's pretty cool. And let's see, let's see what else. I already showed Harley. Joker. Sorry guys, I don't want to like keep you here. There's the Batgirl. Mr. Freeze and Batman. It's basically a lot of Batman photos that you can color in here, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got it at Toys R Us a while ago. It was on special, I think, for like 2 or $3, so... It's not really much that I can say about this coloring book, but... Anyways, yeah, just a really, really neat Batman coloring book. For some reason, my local Dollarama keeps getting, like, graphic novels. And so I picked up a few. The first one I picked up was uh, the New 52, Red Hood, and the Outlaws. I know it's not Batman, Batman, but it's still from the Batman family, so I figured why not. This is Batman, uh, sorry, Red Hood and the Outlaws, Volume 1 Redemption from the New 52. So it collects issues number 1 to 7, which is going to be pretty cool. Show a little bit of the artwork. The artwork in here actually looks really, really nice. Like, check that out. It's pretty nice, the artwork in here. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've never read this before, I just figured for $3, take a look, could be good. 
You guys have seen me do uh, pick up many other comic books from uh, the dollar store in the past, and I've showed it off on the channel. Yeah, there you go. So that's Red Hood and the Outlaws, Volume 1. The next one I have is Batman, The Dark Knight, Volume 1, Night Terrors. It's pretty cool. And again, uh, New 52. I don't know what's going on, but my Dollarama is getting a lot of New 52 books, so it's cool. I get to catch up on a lot of the New 52 stuff that I didn't get to read in the past. So, yeah, no, really, really cool. Really cool artwork in this one, too. Again, I cannot wait to uh, read it. Or it looks like, to, I'm not sure if that's Talon or if it's just a regular Court of Owls member, but that's cool. Um, yeah, trying to scroll through here and get some uh, images for you guys. There you go. Yeah, just really cool. So, Batman the Dark Knight, Volume 1. The final book I got is Batman Eternal, Volume 2. They don't have, they didn't have Volume 1, but I figured, F it, I'll just grab it. Batman Eternal Number 2, Volume 2, I mean. I like that hush. Is in the background and this one. Oh man, this is written by Scott Snyder, James Tinian the Fourth, Ray Fox, Kyle Higgins, Tim Seeley, Jason Fabok, Fernando Pezzer, RM R. Guerra, and more. It collects issues 22 to 34. So this is a very big, nice, bulky set. There you go, we got some hush action right there. What else do we have? Let's a cool photo of Batman. Yeah, I guess it's one of those things where you really gotta read to find out what it is. I guess it's all in the <laughs> Pretty cool. So that's Batman Eternal number two. From the pages of a mighty Batman comic. Let's Batman. Dark Rider Batman charges into the past on his mighty steed. Night Quest Batman unleashes the explosive winged fury of the sleek Legends Batmobile. Legends of Batman vehicle and figures each sold separately. This is Batman The Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition. It's on DVD, I didn't grab it on Blu-ray because I, I picked it up for like $5. Um, so that's cool, it's jam-packed with special features. And it's really cool, it's, um, it's a three disc set. So regardless, DVD, Blu-ray, it's a three disc set, which is really cool. You got, um, the first disc is the movie, as you can see, well, let me fix the disc there. The first disc is the movie, and then the second, the, the second and third disc are, whoop, if you, there you go, they're special features, so that's really cool. And uh, it comes with postcards, so I've never, I haven't taken a look at these yet. You wanna, 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 wanna take a look at them? Let's, let's take a look at them. Oh, I have Blanca! So he's gonna help me make a little incision so he can check out these postcards. If he wants to, there we go, don't wanna cut myself. I really don't wanna do that. Okay. So, is that, did that help? Yeah, it did. Okay, you made a little nice little light, nice little Stevie Nick in there. It's a music reference. Okay. Trying to get these off without bending them, without bending them. There we go. Okay. So it seems on the back they all say this, which is cool. So here's the first postcard. Batman in front of the city. Then the next one is Batman with the logo above him. Next we have... Batman, Superman, and Joker. Oh, look at that. We got Batman, the mutant leader, and the Joker. And then is there one more? Is that it? And that's it. So pretty cool. It comes with four postcards that are really nice looking. I like these a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'll frame them and put them up because they're pretty. They're really nice. Um, I don't normally buy video games for, for, for PlayStation 3 anymore. But when I do find some at really good prices, like in between $5-$10, I'll pick it up. And that's the case for this one. I was in a random store and I saw this for like, I think it was, I don't know, I think maybe seven or nine, $7.99 or nine ninety nine, something like that. And uh, this is the Game of the Year edition, Greatest Hits PS3 of Batman Arkham City. It's a really fun game. I love the Arkham games. So when I saw this, I was like, I mean, we still have a PlayStation 3 that's working. Hell yeah, I'm going to pick that up. So really cool. It comes with the bonus, uh, what's it called? Harley's Reve Harley Quinn's Revenge. Internet connection required. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna play online, and uh, you've got uh, the, the, the back of the packaging. I know you guys have probably seen this before, but like, how often do you see PlayStation Three games anymore? It's cool, and this is this is something, man. Like the game, the game comes with a booklet. I haven't had a video game that comes with a booklet 
since I was a kid. And I mean, there's nothing much in this right here. It's just a pulled out copy, but then you do have this with an ad for, oh, this is old. Batman Year One on Blu-ray. Good movie, but I mean, oh, this is not even a booklet. This is just a catalog. You know what, guys? You want to take a look? Take a look at this. This is just a catalog of stuff you can buy. It's, just, it's really cool. So it's not really a booklet. So yeah, all right then. But yeah, Game of the Year edition of Batman Arkham City. Sorry, I was holding it weirdly. I really do love this game a lot. I love Arkham Asylum. That's probably my favorite. But Arkham City, nonetheless, is really good. And finally, to round off, um, I still have my Sega Genesis. I still, I do still buy video games for my Sega Genesis. And this one, I'm. It's a really difficult game. I was gifted this a long time ago. I just, I felt like whatever. I'll throw it into the pile of the hall because I've never shown it off to you guys. Um, it's a, given to me by, by a former friend that I don't even speak to anymore. It's not the easiest of games and I barely play it. I just keep it for the, uh, the collect because I'm a collector regardless. So this is the new adventures of Batman and Robin on Sega Genesis. The spine label and uh, still kind of, at least it's kind of nice and clean down there. That's Batman, the adventures of Batman and Robin on Sega Genesis. One of the toughest games you'll ever play. Um, I can't even make it past the first stage. I don't know. And I'm not bad at video games. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I can, you know, I'm pretty much a gamer. So I can't even get past the first stage, it makes no sense to me. Hey, do you guys want to see a Sega Genesis a collection video? Let me know down below. Citizens living in the grip of fear, the evil underworld of the city polluting the streets. It's time to take out the trash. Fight through incredible 3D animation against Gotham City's vilest villains in Sega's Adventures of Batman and Robin video game. And so this brings me to the uh, collectibles portion of my haul. I'm debating what I want to show first. Actually, I'll show this first. This is not Batman related, but he's still a member of the Justice League, so I figured, I figured why not? I'll show it off. Now, I got this for Christmas. I showed it off in a video before, but I didn't get very many views on that, so I figured I'll show it off again for you guys and just show it off bright, in, the, in the brighter lighting and everything. Okay, let's just show the figure off first. First we got... First of all, this is um, The Flash from Zack Schneider's Justice League. It's a really cool looking figure. There's that photo of The Flash on the back and all the other members in the team. Really like this a lot with the lightning bolts and everything. And Flash just running. Um, okay, so the actor who plays The Flash, he's getting himself in a lot of hot water recently. This is the point where uh, DC and Warner Bros. are going to be dumping The Flash movie when it's really wants to release on HBO Max because they have no faith in the actor because of, 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 of the antics he's pulling. And it makes me really sad because I love The Flash. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, if, if he doesn't work out, maybe they, they'll, they'll go with another actor. But look, I still am a big fan of the Flash TV series. And the actor who plays Flash on the TV series, that, that's my favorite at the moment. But still, it's a solid looking Flash figure though. I like this a lot. I'm still looking for the DC Rebirth Flash, but I hear that that's going upwards of a lot of money now. So yeah, but really cool figure though. 1978, you believed a man could fly. 1989, the Dark Knight was reborn. Now, lightning strikes again. This fall on CBS, get ready for the Flash. Okay, and now finally, um, I said I was going to do these last. I was going to shout her out because these are early birthday presents and they're so freaking cool. Uh, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, Gabby, who um, last year I did that random bag of toys. That was from her. You could, there's the, there's the, there's the, the, I can't speak properly. There is the thumbnail for the video, if you want to go check that out. Uh, but she picked me up a, uh, three things as an early birthday present, which is really cool. I made a joke saying, you want to want to grab this for me? And she was like, okay, I'll definitely grab it for you. I, I didn't want her to, but really sweet of her, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Gabby. So first things first, I've got is the, um, I think this is Batman Missions. This is the from Spin Master. This is Batman from Batman Missions. So yeah, pretty cool. Comes with some mystery mystery, uh, I don't know, mystery accessories, I guess. But the Batman is really cool. That looks like the, the, the more modern DC Rebirth Batman, borderlining on the Greg Capullo style. On the back, uh, there's the rest of the characters you can get in the line. Uh, a friend of mine has them all. A friend of mine from work has, I think, the whole set. And he showed me them, they're pretty cool. I, I'd like to get the rest of them too. And then in the back here, you can pop each number open and you'll get the accessory. I'm actually thinking of doing a standalone unboxing for this. If I get another one or two, maybe I'll unbox them two at the same time. Let me know what you guys think. That could be a fun unboxing to do. 
Then I have in the premium Hot Wheels. Love these things. Love these things. I love the regular Hot Wheels, but the premium are a little step up, a little bit better. Um, this is from Batman, the classic TV series. We've got the Batmobile from the Batman classic series. Might actually open this one up too and do a an, uh, review. That'll be fun. On the back, there's just like not very much there. Just all the info. But I love this Batmobile. I'm not the biggest fan of the Batman 66 TV series, but this Batmobile is one of my favorite designs. And finally, uh, from the Batman movie, this is another premium Hot Wheels. I think for me so far, the best movie of 2022 so far, for me in my opinion, is the Batman. And so uh, she got me the Batmobile from the Batman movie. Love this car. Love it. It's so nice. Once again, on the back, not too much, just like read-ups and stuff. And I think I'm going to do an unboxing. Let me know what you guys want to see me do an uh, unbox both these Hot Wheels in separate videos. That would be so fun to unbox and review. I would love to do that. New Batman Night Force Ninjas! The popped up Riddler spins his biggest question yet, but Night Force unleashes its biggest Batman ever! Say hello to Multi-Blast Batman! You control two massive fists of fury and one battering boot of justice! Batman Night Force Ninjas! Each sold separately. Okay, so that's everything today. There's far too much stuff to like go back and, and show, but what I will ask is, these things here, do you guys want to see me unbox them? The Batman, the Hot, Hot, Hot Wheels, I can't speak properly, I don't know what's going on. If I get more of the Spin Master figures, maybe I can do a big unboxing video with like, a couple of other of them. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, let me know what your favorite in this haul is. The video games, the books, the, the figures, the t-shirt. Let me know down below. I love talking Batman, I love talking comics, and uh, that's it for today. Massive, mighty, muscle, new Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, seven towering inches, Twister Strike Scarecrow has an eye for evil and a frightening slice, Neural Claw Batman strikes with gigantic gripping wings and enormous rippling muscle, Dive Claw Robin fights with titanic size and colossal power, and nothing can stop the tremendous Guy Wing street fight as it delivers the ultimate air to ground assault, Massive, mighty, muscle, Legends, Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight, Sky Wing street fight comes with figure other figures sold separately. I am getting so hot, I need to get out of here. I, let, me, let me take a, a swip of my water before I get out of here. All right, thank you so much for sticking around. I don't know how long this video is. As I'm filming this, I can't see the length of the video, but I guess I'll find out once it's all done and edited. Thank you so much for sticking around. Like I said, let me know down below again what your favorite in this haul is. Um, Batman is so awesome. He's such a great comic book character. Um, tis the season for comic conventions, so you guys want to comic book conventions? Let me know, since those are opening back up. You, what are you guys collecting these days? Comic books, figures, let me know. Um, I got a Spawn Collection Part 4 video coming up. But guys, I think the next unboxing I'm going to do, maybe not the next video, but the video after that, we're going to finally do the Marvel unboxing, and it's going to be the five-year anniversary video. We're going to get this unboxed, so... Stick around, stay tuned, that's coming, like, very quickly. I'm also going to be doing a day trip, uh, and so I'm going to be uh, doing a vlog of, 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 a, of a toy hunt. I'm going to be going out of town for that, so that's going to be fun. Stick, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching the video. Like, you all, guys, like, I really appreciate you watching all my videos. As much as I don't get very many views, those of you who do watch my videos, I really appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notification and all that good stuff. Stick around, I'll have many more content coming your way. And as always guys, remember, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Laters!